Moving antiques can be a challenge. They always are valuable and a lot of times they have sentimental value. The first thing you want to do before moving any antique is to have it properly appraised as to assign a correct value to the piece. Barry, can you tell us a little bit about what happens after that step? Well, after that, uh, after the customer does his appraisal, it kind of falls all on us, and uh, that's the way we like to have it done. So what we'll do is um, we may actually have to service some of these items, uh, such as grandfather clocks and items such as that. Um, above and beyond that, obviously, we're going to protect these items as best we can for transit. Uh, generally, we're going to use these quilted pads here to wrap the piece totally and completely and make sure that it's safe all around on every part, nothing, nothing showing. Um, furthermore, there may be instances where there's some ornate edges or uh, some fragile pieces on the actual piece itself that require special attention. And for this, um, our crews are specially trained to uh, come up with the best way to treat these things fairly and safely. Um, and other times, actually, there may even have to be a crate made, a big wooden crate for these pieces to fit inside to uh, completely protect during the move. Now in situations where a specialized crate is made, when the piece gets to destination, does the shipper have to worry about anything in terms of uncrating? Nope, absolutely not. That falls on the service that uh, created the piece. They actually have people all around the country that will come out to the other end of the move and uncrate the piece safely for them. Great. Well, there you go. You can rest assured knowing that your antiques are safe.